Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access. My name's Dave and I'm joined today by Holly. Hello. And uh, today we are taking another in-depth look at GT Sport. This time we're looking at the livery editor, which is crazy powerful. Holly, you got your hands on it. Um, and it's fair to say, I mean, people <laughs> are going to be making some incredible creations. I've made something beautiful. Uh, you've started here with a sort of a PlayStation car already. I see that's very smart. Yeah, so we're starting with the BMW. Um, I basically wanted to go in depth and show you as much as possible. So we're going to start with the body. You can see now, you can already got plenty of other views. And often with other as well, you can even uh, rotate through several other different views. You're coming into paint. Now the idea is you can paint bit by bit or you can paint the whole thing. Um, you've got the color palette here, but it's not just that because I went for the PlayStation bluest of all. If you go to special color, this is where you can add your effects. So this might be, um, you know, large flakes. You might want matte. Uh, I've gone for large flakes because I wanted to, to be a horrific glitter mobile. I think it looks amazing. I think you zoom in a sec to to check out some of the flakes. It's and unreal. It's unbelievable. Like the, the the detail on it is crazy. I'm really pleased to see that they've put in a uh, a paint. Oh, we're going to see the detail. She first. goes. You, they've put in a paint all button so you don't have to change every part of the car uh, look at once. that look at the flakes they're just absolutely amazing and I mean this is just sort of a taste of the mad detail that there is in GT I think actually to have a look on the tyre here you can see like you <laughs> know you go, have a look have a look, <laughs> look but like even the this sort of embossed you know writing on the tyres is, is in the game in it's, all fairness the number of stitches on the leather seats is accurate that's, that's that's GT levels of in, like crazy. We had a, a tour actually, and uh, uh, Yamiuchi San did say that it takes one designer six months to mm. make one car that, in game. It, it, it's oh, there's a lot of love and a lot of detail in in these things. Uh, anyway, back to uh, the livery editor. So yeah, as I was saying, there's a paint all button, so you don't have to go through each and every sort of part <laughs> of the car. That's much that's much easier. Um, I mean, you could spend hours in this. I granted, I, I haven't had a chance because you know I did have other things to do that day. But you know, you can really, really go crazy. You can see when you did the wheels there as well. Yeah, this is this is we're going to be looking very top line just to give you a flavour of what's possible. I mean, and what's possible is is pretty mad. Um, we're going to get onto decals in a minute. This is just I think the racing the racing specific. Uh, where so if you know if you're putting this this car in a in a race, it's going to need to have a, a number or, or whatever. Um, if you watch PlayStation Access regularly, yeah. you can probably guess what number Holly's going to choose. Uh, 301 for the 301 Club. God. Someone did someone did question like why 301, and I was like, it's the YouTube thing. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, you can you know it, you can change the light cover. You can change the color of your banner on your windscreen. Now some of these are car dependent, obviously. Yeah. Um, we just happen to have a car right now that allows us to have these things. Um, I don't know if this will be in the final game, but they very very kindly requested the PlayStation Access logo ahead of our visit so they could add it in for us to use. Which is mega exciting for yeah. us to be fair. Like I, I didn't know that this was going to happen. I came over to see what Holly was up to, and we like we've got an Access car. So I've skipped ahead a little bit of there. You've you've settled on the size and you've got you've taken off the racing number, which I think was a smart idea because it was getting in the way. Um, this doesn't have to be a racing car necessarily. It's just you know it's just something nice for Saturday. Um, there's loads of kind of like regular shapes and stuff that it gives you to play around with. I thought this was really cool, by the way. You you impressed me here with your fade. I didn't know what you were going for, but that looks wicked. Um, and again, they've thought about this as well. You can mirror things to the other side, so you don't have to mess about and try and, you know, match it up on both sides, which is good. Instant symmetry, which is which is what I'm all about. Like there are an incredible amount of pre-added designs for you to pick from if that's your thing. But they have also said that um, you can actually upload your own, so you could work on something off the game, and then you could upload it and actually put it onto your car. So if you don't want to like use what's been provided you can just basically go to town creatively on your own and put it into the game. It's, uh, it's so impressive. It is really impressive. And we're going to have a little look at just some of the shapes that are available here. Again, um, Holly is unashamedly making a PlayStation <laughs> Access car. So, you know, she... Holly has no shame. She went for some particular kind of shapes. So I'm going to fast forward through it because, you know, you don't want to see every sort of intimate little choice that you're making. 
Um, but you don't want to watch me ruin this BMW. <laughs> I think you end up with something really, really cool, actually. And again, like I don't know how long this took. Maybe ten minutes or or so. Oh yeah, no, this was quite quick because we did. In all fairness, we had one day in the studio, and we had we set ourselves and we quite like lofty goals, and we were going to get this, this, and this, and this. So. It, we didn't have all day for Holly to play with cars. She had to do some real work eventually. What you've got to remember is that this, you know, this is you're making a, a skin for your car that is going to be available in the, in in the game. Like you, you can now take this skin now that it, when it's finished, you can take that that car and drive it around. You know, it's not it's such a powerful thing, and it's not just in this part of the game. It's is now in the whole game. You can take pictures of it. You can share it. It's it's pretty amazing. It um, really, really is. I've been really, really, really impressed by it. Uh, creativity, I love stuff like this. And if you have made something, you can share it as well. Exactly. So other people can have access to things. And uh, you know, there's some very talented people are going to make great stuff. They really are. Hopefully that's given you a, a good taste of the livery editor and just sort of like the tip of the iceberg about what is possible in there. It's going to be mad. Uh, let us know in the comments what you'll be doing with the livery editor when you get your hands on GT Sport and do stick with us so you don't miss anything from the world of PlayStation.